You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy, O Lord Jehovah. You are worthy. You are faithful, O God. You are faithful. You are faithful, O God Jehovah. You are faithful. Lord, you are so faithful. Thank you, Father. Happy Palm Sunday to everybody out there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching from. Uh, it's been quite a long time I haven't recorded any video. Uh, I have decided to come out today to say something. There's this thing that has been bothering me. I have decided to say something about it today. I'm not a pastor, I'm not a man of God, I'm not a prophet, I'm not an apostle, but uh, I think I should say something about this. Uh, what I want to talk about today is the way some so-called men of God, some so-called prophets have used the social media to negatively affect our society. I'm not saying that uh, uh, the social media is not impacting lives or people or men of God are not impacting life through social media. They are, but uh, there are too many and so many fake or false prophets online. Um, most people, the majority of people that are being deceived uh, our ladies, ladies, our women are into this. I don't even know how to explain it, but it is too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, today I will be sharing some few scriptures with us. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13 that my people suffer. My people perish because of lack of knowledge. We are not talking about knowledge of science and art here. No, we are talking about knowledge of the word of God. When you knowledge in the Bible, when you know the word of God, when you know your Bible, when you know the truth, you will not be deceived. The Bible also says in John chapter 8 verse 32 that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Many Christians are being deceived by so-called men of God on social media, uh, especially some of our ladies. They don't still behave as normal human beings again. They don't have their senses of belongings anymore. They, they, they follow these men of God wherever they are. Some of some some women even go to an extent of they don't even have time to take care of their own families. They don't have time to cook for their children. They don't have time to take care of their husbands because they are following men of God. A woman will be up at uh, two a.m., three a.m. She's up that she's praying with the man of God, and she's unable to get up at. 5 or 5 30 to prepare the kids for school or to even prepare their husband at 6 to go to work and she pays more attention to this so-called men of god running behind them because of uh, miracles and so on and so forth many marriages have been broken because of some men of god many relationships have been scattered because of some men of god many families have been scattered because of some men of god People run and people rush after signs and wonders. When people, or when we Christians, we hear that this pastor is performing miracles, we run there, we go, we rush to that church waiting for miracles or, or following miracles. But I want to tell us something which is very true. There is no miracle money except you walk there is no miracle money there is no way you will receive something that without walking you have to do something you have to walk or you have to do business there is no way you can make money without walking 
It's time for us to be wise. It's time for us to know what is right. Please, uh, our men of God, uh, we should tell our Christians the truth. Tell them the value of working, doing business. They should do something that will earn them commercial value and pray for God to bless what they are doing. Not rushing to churches and to churches. You know, many Christians rush into churches they are, they pray they fast they, they follow the man of god by praying and fasting and even sleeping in church you won't make money you won't make a living there but you have to work you have to do something that will earn you commercial value and you pray for god to bless it that is that is just the secret people are blind i don't i don't even know the worst one is lady the, our ladies are just behind, they are behind so-called men of God shouting in churches, crying every day. We are praying for husbands and they are there. We receive, you will receive a miracle husband. Your husband will locate you. You are there. We receive, we receive. Men of God, it's time for you to tell your, your, your Christians the truth. Teach them how to behave when they are in relationships. Teach them how to behave when they are in marriages. When we, when, when we want to compare today, the rate of divorce is even more than the uh, rate of marriages today. Why? Because people rush and we, or women rush into marriages uh, through, even through false prophecies from these so-called fake men of God or, or fake prophets. And because of lack of knowledge, because they don't have a proper doctrine, they, they are unable to manage their homes and they, they end up divorcing. We should learn how to, to, to operate the God's way, not following men of God. I'm not saying that all men of God are, are fake, but there are a lot of false prophets online. Uh, permit me to share some scriptures with you, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 11, it says, and many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. For they shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in as much that it, will, it were possible, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. You know, some Christians are they, they, they are convinced that they, they are convinced that they know the word of God. They are not being deceived. But you know, not all the miracles that we see out there are from God. Even the Bible says, oh, the Bible let us know that some of these miracles, some of these things that we see with the so-called miracles and prophecies and prophecies from so-called men of God, they are not genuine. Most of them, majority, especially online, are not genuine. Most of them are misleading our people. Most of them are misleading our ladies. For example, I'm going to share one scripture again with us. <clears throat> In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22, Wife, submit yourselves to your husbands as unto the Lord. Wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands. And still in our Bible, Colossians chapter 3 verse 18. Wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands as it is fit in the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. The Bible instructs wives to submit themselves to their husbands, not to pastors. You know, some ladies cherish their men of God. They cherish pastors more, more than the way they do to their husbands. They disrespect their husbands. But every day they keep calling men of God daddy and so on and so forth. First, respect your husband first. Because the Bible says if you're the husband that women should submit to their husbands as the church is also submitting to God. In fact, the Bible let us know that your husband is like a God is to church so you see the level of submission submission you have to be i don't even know how to put it but submit yourself to your husbands M many ladies out there 
they I don't they don't even have time for their husband. They disrespect their husbands, but yet they are crying every day in churches that things are not moving. Praying for miracles. Please do what the Bible tells you to do and stop following these men of God. There's, there's no miracle money, there's no miracle, there's no there's no manners from heaven that can fall for us to pick. I, it's time for us to know what is right for us. We are we are too some of us have been robbed. If you know the truth, if you know the truth, you will not be, be de de deceived. The, the Bible, the, the word of God, let me share one scripture again with us. <clears throat> In Mark chapter 16, <clears throat> excuse me, I will be reading from Mark chapter 16, verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils and they shall speak in, with new tongues. <clears throat> verse 18. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on sick and dead, and they shall recover. This is not only for men of God, even ordinary Christians. When you believe, when you believe in the name of God, you have that authority, you have that power, you have that ability to lay hands on sick people, to, to heal sick, sick people. When you know the truth, you, you, you will stop running behind all these so-called men of God. The, what, what, what we hear now online, it is far away from salvation that we know. People, people, people are, information is mixed online, people are confused. Nowadays, if you are not very careful, if you are not very careful, you will not even believe that there is God. My dear brethren, there is God, but there are also so many false prophets out there. Somebody will just see you prophesy that you will get married to uh, Brother B. God told me to do this, of which it is lies. And you, you, you end up getting married to somebody that you don't even know. There, there's no compatibility. That you can't live together. You haven't studied each other. You don't even, it is not the will of God. They are, they are deceiving people. People have died because of false or fake prophecies please let's let's be wise let's be wise women dedicate your time to to your children to your husbands to your families stop running behind all these men of god i'm not saying that you should pray you should pray but don't follow them as she, as she goes please please let's be wise let's be wise i'm still going to share one scripture with us before i run up <clears throat> Excuse me. First uh, John chapter 5, I will be reading from verse 13. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. <clears throat> verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us if we ask anything according to his will we are not supposed to ask but to the man of god if you ask god according to his will if you know these things if you know you can pray you can you can pray i don't you can pray for what you want it will work you will receive it we, we are not supposed to be running behind men of God. I want this, I want this. It's only the man of God that can help you. No, you can also do it. It is not, it is not hidden. The truth is in the Bible. For us, if you know the truth, the Bible says you know the truth and the truth shall set you free. The Bible says in Psalm 23 verse 6 that signs and wonders shall follow us. But instead, we are the one running behind signs and wonders. Where are we going to? When we hear that this pastor is performing miracles, we will run to that pastor. What are we looking for? 
What are we looking for? Which signs? There are false prophets out there. Let's be wise. Let's be wise. Let me share one scripture again with us before we we round up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Make your request known unto God. Another scripture again. Excuse me. Okay, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. <coughs> Excuse me. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think or imagine, God is able to do. That means he is able to do whatsoever thing is. Is it sickness that you are suffering from? Is it marriage that you want? You can pray to God and God is able to do exceedingly abundantly. He can do more than what you are imagining. Is it money? Is it a job that you are looking for? You should pray to God, not running behind men of God. These so-called men of God, some of them are fake prophets. As the Bible let us know, please let's be wise. Read your Bible, understand, know the truth, and apply the truth, and it will work. It will work. I pray that we will not be deceived by false prophets in the name of Jesus. I pray that we will receive wisdom. We will receive the knowledge. We shall know the truth that will set us free in Jesus' name. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. Bye. Happy Sunday once more. Ciao.